that gravity you were working with. Alright, like, uh, man, y'all ready to get started? You too tall for me. Yeah, man. Thank you, sir. Yo, welcome to the Count Dead's podcast, man. This your neighborhood, this your neighborhood middleman, Slim Key. I'm here to look. Do it, 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 do I got my boy Devin HB right here to the right of me. Yeah. I got King Nate over here. Yeah. That's our special guest this uh, episode. I got my boy Jay Leno over there. Uh, B3, he normally on this side, but he handling business, so he on that side. Yes, sir. And then you got uh, Double A behind the camera. What's how? Yeah, go ahead and chime in real quick. Um, b- before we get into the topics, man, I just want to talk about the, um, I don't even know, uh, I don't even know his name, but just the, uh, the, 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 the 17 year old, uh, white man that was goddamn hunting down uh, people yeah. in uh, motherfucking Kenosha. Is that, yeah. that what it was? Yeah, yeah. Wisconsin. Kenosha, Wisconsin. Oh shit, let me go. I'm about to throw that. Give me one second. Yeah, man, that shit super fucked up, bro. Like that shit crazy. Like and like, bro, he was walking untouched, like waving at the cops. Waving at the cops. You feel me? Like that's how that's how that's how they see their people. You feel me? That's friendly and 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 welcoming. Like like I'm like, bro, come on now. And, and it's crazy, bro. Like, like shit like that just happen all the time. You feel me? Like, white killers understand. always get off easy. Like, he took other brother McDonald's in it. Uh, Della Roof. You know, yeah, Burger King and all that shit. He's always mentioned help. That's the name. That's, the name. That's how they bail out. You know, yeah. Insane. He is handy. I, I don't he know if y'all up. seen the video, but I watched the video for the first time today. And bro, it's bro. You know, it's the article that came out. Wow, they, uh, I need to look at the video. Painting him like an inspiring. Yeah, bro, like, how the fuck you inspiring? Fuck that. I got an arrow at this point. But did fuck you see that. The, but did you see the article in the New York Post uh, captioned the article they put out for Jacob Blake? Talking about that he was going to the project tonight. Yeah, I see. They tried to say he shot seven times. But then the same some shit. people made an article talking about the dude that actually went bro. and killed two people when he's an inspiring cop trying to paint him in a good light. Bro, it'd be these, it be these cities that, right? that you never hear about. Like, it just be these... Out of the blue cities, like bro, that shit crazy. I see multiple videos of white niggas walking up on the police aggressive as a bitch, like slapping taser out their hand and all types bro. of shit, like. Bro, nigga nothing happened. I seen a nigga take the taser and try to tase the police, and he still ain't do nothing but run. Bro, I just seen a video the other Which day of a nigga is walking with a knife in his hand. They bro. try to hit him, and this nigga is banging on the window and, with a knife. And they got and, guns out, and they fire and, a and, shot. And for real, bro, that's why I don't like. That's why I don't really. That's why I don't subscribe to the whole yeah. black on black, like ideology. Like, it's, it's a favorite. Like, yeah, you feel it's me? Like, I, I don't really fuck with that. Like, I don't really fuck with uh, the black breath. Yeah, yeah, you that's, grow up around the same, your same color people, and you end up doing crime in that area. Who, even, who even, crime even in? deeper than that, bro. Even deeper than that, we taught, bro. We was conditioned to not like yeah. each other, to fight each other, to hate each other. Like we was conditioned all the way from when they first brought, yeah, from when they first brought slaves over here to now. Like all this shit is programmed, all this shit is conditioned. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, no, hey, like bro, we like, was definitely they, conditioned. They, they the real thug. When, when one nigga used to run from the uh, slave plantation, bro, they used to beat and torture. Hold on, let's let's women. let's not get into today. Let's let's keep it on <laughs> us. But let's not get into today. That's how Nick Cannon got his show too. Uh-huh. <laughs> let's keep it on us. Hey, you can go, you can go, Oh, you got that D-Wade. That's for me. No, no, no. Come on, my dude. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's oh, shit. Crazy, nigga Surprise. Make it, nigga, 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 Surprise, motherfucker. No D-Wade on it. But, but, um, yeah, just getting back to that whole black on black thing, man. Like, that, I don't know. Get get out of here with that. You feel me? I don't really fuck with that, man. We got white cops uh, and then they be like, abusing their they power. They using that, that the right. reason for, like, oh, he was probably doing something wrong. Hey, something hey, like hey, that. White, 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 white. Talking about me fucking up. Look at my little look. Excuse me. Over there making love to the blunt. Hey, nasty. Roll that bit. Nasty. Oh. Let me get into the rolling. That that don't that don't lie. That don't roll. Goosey goosey. No. Well, down to the end. Yeah. Well, you had to hit it. at? Loose through that. Yeah, that don't was that don't was a little loose at the end, but that don't that don't curl the rest of the way like a flute. Exactly. But yeah, like I was saying, they stay using the uh the excuse that. Keep black people doing something wrong at any time, or he had to been doing something wrong. When there's clearly 
plenty of times we seen with white people are doing bro. something wrong and nothing's happening to them. Yeah, bro, Wait, that that shouldn't have bro. If you did, uh, yeah, yeah. Show and tell? Oh, oh, we do show and tell first? Yeah, yeah, yeah we always do show and tell first. Oh, I'm going to with you, bro. Hey, man. We always do show and tell first. Oh, hold on, man. First oh. show and tell. I brought yeah, some. Show and tell. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, thanks. You feel me? Yeah, R.P. Nip. Hey, shout out to at your favorite artist, underscore. He did this J for me. Nip with the Cali. It's really good. It's really good. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, and get yeah. somebody, everybody don't be having I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, that joint could have been bigger though. I wish it was a little bit bigger too, but yeah, hey. That joint, that joint could have be like three of those. But the craftsmanship no, that's cool though. It's, yeah, There's a bunch of them dancing right. like one look, He even looked high fine. in the picture though, look. Look, it's watery. fine. It's fine. You feel me, look. It's just small. See, I, I even look watery in the picture. Like, glossy, clay, like breast key. <laughs> Much detail too. I like it. Yeah, you can figure. Yeah. So we are gonna hop into the uh, I bet. All right. So what's going on, Nate, man? I ain't. All right. So this is my first time meeting you. So I, I figured it's me. It's best for me to do it because right. it's my first time. Everybody in here pretty much know you, right? Yeah. All right. What's going? On? All right. So man, what? All right, everybody in here said you rap. You should have been rapping. What, what, what took you? What took you so long to hop on the train, man? Me. Yeah. Call me like like you see the city hot now. Yeah, you feel I mean, me? To be honest. I don't really know, and I ain't trying to like shade the city or nothing like that, but I don't really know what's going on with Locus and Okay, that's like a few that's people cool. I know, like, that I know within my circle that rap mm-hmm. or whatever. Like, I ain't really start doing it now because I, you know, see like a trend going or nothing like that. I just, I feel like, you know, everything happened for us. It's perfect time. I mean, like, a lot of time in the world. You know, so I was kind of like, I picked it up, kind of picked up steam like three or four years ago. And then, I kind of like lost the creativity and motivation but I just feel like now it's just like, you know, why not go ahead and just put my foot out there? Everybody kind of know I you know, got a bullet or whatever, I can rap, you know, so it's just time to be like, my creative. You know? And you know, it's crazy about, but that's normal. Like, it's normal to lose motivation. You feel me? It's normal to like feel uninspired. Like yeah, a, a lot of, like, not just in the music, like a lot of artists go through moments where they, they just not feeling it. You feel I, me? I, I and, yeah, so it's yeah, man, it's it's super normal. Like that, that ain't even like nothing to even like feel bad about. For real, I, I think it's just growth. Like it's just just growing, just really finding out who you are as an artist and just finding out who you are as a person. You feel me? I really so yeah. Music, and that shit, it, that shit, is pretty much part of your story. Right. Yeah. I really, I really enjoy doing music though. It's like it's not even something that's like it's kind of like it's like a hobby. It's not even something I gotta like try hard to do. It's something I can just do. You know. Kind of do it, kind of relieve stress for me. Yeah, for sure. I could be like, you know, mad or sad or something like that. I could listen to instrumentals all day and I'll be forget what I was even mad about. You know what I mean? I just, I just love music. So. I, I actually was listening to uh, the three track EP you put out. I forgot the name of it. So, what, like, go ahead and plug that in for me. Um, this is on Apple Music. It's called 1903 Cambridge. You search up 1903 Cambridge. It'll pop up. Um, it's just a little song project. What made you go with that? The songs that's on there, I, I wrote them when I was living. I was on a short on 1903 Cambridge Court. So it was like them songs came from that time. And they are like old songs, but I was just doing that just to kind of get my sound out there, kind of get a feel what people like, whatever. But you know, I got a lot more music coming, so it's good to Where, um, the B selection, like who who was the, like, that was like local producers, or that was, um, like, what's up with the B selection? To be honest, I mean, I got them off YouTube. Yeah, like, I mean, that's, that's normal as well. So, like, really, the first song on there, like uh, Legacy, I really, I didn't have no beat for it at first, so I didn't even write that to a beat. I just, I, I just wrote it off the top of my head and it finally beat. Mm-hmm. And so, when the So Tired one and the Two to Ten, I was really actually to the beat, I was listening to the beat and wrote it. Those are the beats I found on YouTube and it was just part of my career and I was just doing something. Where, do you, uh, you plan on making any videos or you got any like more projects in the, uh, in the tuck you like working on right now? Oh yeah, I definitely got another project coming. I um, can't really put a little stamp on it. Really That's cool. It's going to be called From the Heart. I kind of got a song. I got a song out now. It's on YouTube. It's a motion video. Um, I got it out on SoundCloud. We're going to have a music set on the It's called uh, From the Heart. Um, I'm going to name my next mixtape From the Heart. I got all songs people never heard before. So the song is out right now. It's besides From the Heart. It's one of the only songs you have on the mixtape. I got a song that we all live in. Okay, so, cool. Yeah, so, um, yeah, and I got a couple videos coming. Um, working now to get a couple videos done, one for the heart from the heart. And then I got a couple videos, one for the paranoid, and another for 
<laughs> Word, man, yeah, no. We definitely gonna be on the lookout for that. You know, you can just shoot them through the problem. Uh, the, the, the motherfucking group text. We already gonna get it. For sure. Yeah, yeah, you can pull up. Yeah, anytime, yeah. man. You know, after, after your guest once, you feel me, fam. So you just pull up and just. I had yeah. to come on anyway. You know, I know my, you know, jail, HB, I kind of man recently. You know, he's still cool. He's meeting me today. He's cool, though. I'm in double A without the camera. So I had to come and show love and support for real. I really meant to. Anytime y'all call hey, me, he's still there, man. You know, and, you know, I don't even look at it as no favor. Anytime I want to come with it, man. Just out of the love, I do it. Just because, you know, I'm in. All right, well, since we, uh, you know, since we talk about, you know, your, uh, now, I know you said you, like, you don't really, like, pay attention to the local scene, and you really, like, stay, like, in your circle. That's cool. You feel me? That's cool. I mean, that's that's a lot of artists here. You feel me? And I feel like that's cool as long as you, you working. You feel me? As long as you're being productive, you're working, and you're getting your music out there. I feel like all that's good. But do you, you pay attention to, like, mainstream and, like, artists that on, like, right now? Yeah, sure. I, you, have you checked out the Double XL list? You got any thoughts on that? Actually, I haven't. I haven't. Because to be honest, the last couple double XLs, besides like one or two guys, I ain't really know who really be on the cover. So, I'm not going to lie. It's hard to keep up with that shit. Yeah, so since like 20, I'll say the last one I probably kept up with maybe like, what's it, like 2012 or something like that. 2013, that sounds so long ago. But besides like, the last one was Uzi or something. I don't know. All right, I'm going to name a couple guys. I'm going to name a couple people off the double XL, and you just let me know if you fuck with them or not. All right, so we, um, Polo G. Oh, yeah, I Polo G. All right, that's Polo G. Um, Mulatto. The shiny. Mulatto. Tough. Yeah, she yeah. is tough, she right? Tough. And you know what's crazy? She had one of the best freestyles. Devin ain't like that junk. I got to hit see now. I'm going to have to go back and watch the freestyle now, but yeah, Mulatto, she's tough. And, and, she and, I, and I think they're still dropping them. Um, we, we haven't checked them out today, but I know we checked some out. Uh, was it yesterday or two days? Yeah, yesterday. Um, tell me out, y'all. Who else? Uh... And and Chopper. Chopper, yeah. Oh, yeah. I with him. His his shit was whack. <laughs> his shit was whack. He ain't not really. I wouldn't. But he, but he, I, he's not that. That's not it. That's he not it. Like, yeah. yeah. That's not his. Yeah. yeah. Wait, I can like tell you more. Was I, I think he was out of his lane. Uh, Jack Harlow. Jack Harlow, yeah. I heard that one song that was popping. That's it though. Okay, I, I think he had a, a, a good freestyle. Who? Lil T J. Lil T J. Yeah, Okay. That, hey, well, I know all these guys hey shout out, shout out to New York, uh, cause that's yeah, a no, lot no. of a na- lot of names from New York on there. <laughs> yeah, uh, Rod Wave, come on, man, that's my guy. Rod Wave, yeah, he was on that's there. His uh, his John was whack though. Yeah, his, for real. Yeah, his John was whack. Yeah. I ain't like that John. Like yeah, it all was. I let's like, let's, like, let's let's run it back. Double XL always blow it so i ain't like that acapella shit was kind of whack like you feel me like but you feel me it's sometimes it happened but i still feel like artists could have came with something else Mm -hmm. some some a little bit better but hey mulatto really showed up on that jump um i still haven't heard uh the chink chica yeah i ain't heard her i haven't heard hers uh yeah i'm not gonna lie she was like a dark horse in this double xl out of nowhere yeah, out of nowhere. So. Sada Baby should have definitely been in that jacket, in my opinion. Uh, he's five years strong. Sada, he, uh, he's five years strong. I'm like on and off. Who, who, who's somebody that you think should have been on the double XL list? I know I left some names off, but I get to, I, whatever. We'll get to them later. Well, no, I wouldn't say not yet. I don't think it's nobody for real. Broadway, if you on there, Polo G. Okay. LA. So a lot of the artists that you pretty much yeah, fuck. a lot of the guys who, that I feel like about the who who have you been listening to recently? Yeah, um, I listen a lot of Rod Wave. Okay, I that's your know, guy. I already know who you. I already know one of your agents. I listen to a lot of Dirt. I, I dirt. I a lot of little Dirt. Okay, that's my guy right there, little Dirt. Yeah, um, he. I, I heard I heard Dirk had like a crazy verse or a crazy part on that on a new Nas jump. Man. On the new Nas, yeah, and and on the Drake jump, but I meant to say people say he should have had a longer part. Yeah, people say he should have had a longer part, Drake but is, is he grew them dreads, but the man undefeated. Now I'm weak. You think it's the dreads? Yeah, he, he undefeated. I'm yeah, weak. That love songs for the streets. Like I know he wanna, you know, the people fuck with the no auto dirt, but that love songs for the streets sounding dirt right there. That's, that should be fire. You know what I mean, where um shit, well shit man um, that's all my questions for real man. Shit. Yeah, that's that's all my questions. Ain't anybody else got some questions for him? 
we free we free things. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I, you, you feel me? That, you know, I was just I was just I was just getting the ball rolling, man. Uh, we talked about the double XL Jones. So six nine in Chicago, fucking with the Reaper. Since we since we talking about dirt, Chicago. since we talking yeah, since we on the whole dirt, John, I'm glad you said something about that because six nine was in Chicago, and you and you, you already know we not in we them, not in them no limit now yeah, now, now listen now listen we not like followers nah. of six nine like it ain't like we be tracking his moves news, but yeah, he be it. making the headlines you feel me and it's it's hard to get away literally, from this you wake nigga. up. Hop on Instagram. He the first thing. Like, so nigga literally just scrolling and just see them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that ain't no and, and look, and look, like like we was talking about. He a snitch, but the man's entertaining. He's a snitch he for sure. He's a snitch, in yeah. every every way you look at it. Yeah. But he entertaining. The nigga is entertaining. The nigga is entertaining though. You know, he said he he sell tickets. No, for sure. Yeah, he he, he all about he all about the views. That's what I'm saying. You ain't gotta be fucking. You gotta admit it. Though. Yeah, I don't look. I don't, I don't fuck with it. That's I mean that's like that's like admitting Soldier Boy the king of the internet. That's like Soldier Boy. I got a question. Everything. I got a question. Now that we on the topic of six nine, he just said he just uh told who gonna be on his tape. It's gonna be Megan and Stallion, uh, somebody else. You said who? Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny and um NBA young boy. And NBA young boy. Bro, first question off, is, the name of his album is Tattletales. That's very true. So I, I still throw that out there trolling. too. It's called Tattletales. That's trolling. the name of his album. It might not even be that. And you being featured on this album, do we look down on you a little bit? Hold on, and, and who is the features? Maybe NBA Stallion. young boy, Megan Sheesh. Thee Stallion, and Bad Bunny. Look, business is business, but I wouldn't do it. Bad Bunny. Let me just say it like that. You business. on the album with Bad Bunny. I feel like people like Meg Thee Stallion or... No young boy, they don't have. They don't have. We already know. A bag is a bag, though. A bag is a bag at the end of the day. But young boy don't need that bag. They probably ain't even in the studio with the nigga. But young boy don't need that bag. Probably sending the verses too. I mean, see, look, this this how I'm thinking. Look, this how I'm thinking. I'm thinking he already had those verses. I would make sense if if it's that if that's the case, then I could respect that. I said that. I said that earlier. Yeah, he he already had those verses in it. Still, would have to get it. You think you still have to get it clear? Clearance to today? use it on the tape today? on the album. If he already got, but he probably already got clearance back then if they got it recorded. Yeah. See, I don't see. I don't, I don't no, know how. No, yeah, you feel me? That's that's probably some upon discussion. You feel me? Like, let me like you. I'm ready to drop this joint. Your people cool with it? So. Yeah. If if I pay for, it, I guess it's mine. That's what I mean. If I give you the bag for it, I guess yeah, I guess it's mine. Like if I already paid you and your team, but no, nah, it um. Yeah, man, to be honest, but to be honest with y'all, man, I don't, a lot of people say, bro, he gonna dabble for the end of the year. I don't got it happen. <laughs> that nigga wild out on Reese, though. He said, I found a video you doodling on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't fuck with somebody who known to kill people to that extent. I wouldn't. Allegedly. You feel me? Yeah, it's always allegedly. What, allegedly what? The Reaper has been killing people. It's alleged. Yeah, man. Allegedly. We don't know, we don't know what he got. I don't know what he be doing. But the dude on your drawers. That is definitely Damn. tough. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That shit wild it, bro. You use that bitch at his promo like. He done made a lot of niggas. Tattletales out. Such a section. He done made a lot more niggas shit themselves. See that. That's crazy. No, Carmen's gonna get you one day. Yeah, um. Just a, be honest, man. I don't even want to talk about 6 9 no more, man. Uh, y'all wanna go into something different? 6 9 I got, I got something better. That's exhausting. I got something better. T Pain accused Akon of holding him back. Uh. Um, and 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 you, you got to give me more than that. You, like what what was said about that? You got to you got you got to find what was said I'm ready about. Pull it, it up. I'm ready to pull it up. Wait, I definitely get. This. I'm not gonna lie though. I feel like T Pain. I'm not gonna say he was blackballed, but I feel like he was he was pushed to the side. I, I mean, feel like, but the, 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 oh, you said T Pain? Yeah. I, I feel mean, like he was pushed to the side. Though. He, he do got hits, yeah, but I feel is. like I feel like all his hits won't like i feel like he he did that like those jones won't back no i'm just i'm saying like i don't think his hits was yeah. back like major companies or major labels i think he, that was really like him yeah. grinding like him putting yeah. his money up you feel me yeah. like yeah that's you feel me that's even better but i just think it's it's just wild like you think somebody like that like t-pain that's a bro that's a high like, that's a high caliber artist bro yeah, that's great. not no, that's not no regular artist you feel me that's 
that's somebody who I used to consider like a ringmaster of the game. You feel me? Like okay, kind of like, like, you know what I mean? No yeah, pun intended. Either. Yeah, yeah. Like he kind of had that whole style going. Bro, you, know you feel me? Yeah, he kind of was like flowing with everybody. He was getting everybody on the track, or he was on somebody else's track. He was on the hook. So no, I, I really like gave him like. What I know is, Akon said. Akon said, um, T Pain. The reason T Pain didn't make because he seen Akon. Akon said he seen T Pain as like a version of himself. The reason he didn't make it as big was because he said T-Pain stayed in the hood. So T-Pain had came back basically saying like, that's not the reason, but okay, okay, you feel me? Yeah. Y'all, that, y'all won't hold me back, but okay, you feel me? Like, and just left it at that. But, but he T-Pain, tweeted this. T-Pain low-key is a, like a, he, he a Florida boy though. He can't, you know what I mean? Yeah, nigga. I don't know if he like in the streets like that, but. I don't, so I don't think. Didn't say he stayed in the hood though. It's low-key not surprising because he, he he don't portray. He don't so, glorify that shit. But that's take your time with that. So, Man. what's wrong with niggas standing in the hood? Though I mean, like, that's what I was and, and 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 it's we know T Pain won't like that. We know T Pain won't on no but, crazy shit. But some niggas, okay, I say me personally, I don't think there's no problem with standing in, in the hood. But it, it depends. It depends on unless unless you a nigga like six nine. I can't even like how can I how can I describe this shit? Like you can it's always good. have access to the hood, but you don't have to constantly live in the hood. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like because yeah, you got people in the hood that love you and all that shit like that, but at the same time you got niggas that hate you. Bro, I don't think T Pain was living in the hood you. though. I don't think he was living in the hood. Look like he, he probably came out the slums though. He probably came out the slums. I don't know where T Pain came from. That's you know that nigga just on the radio. Tallahassee, didn't it? I think it's from Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm yeah, Tallahassee. Yeah. I thought Tallahassee was in Tennessee. Nigga, I don't know, nigga. For yeah. real, if you would have asked me, I would have said Alabama. So I'm glad y'all. Uh, <clears throat> I'm glad y'all confirmed that. Type in Tallahassee. Don't even put a state. T A L L A. I think. No H A. I mean, bro, I wouldn't really trust Akon. Akon's like I don't want to say musical like opinion but he said Drake sound like Eminem yeah yeah that's wild and I found a tweet too his exact tweet now, was I, I, I think Drake sound like a lot of artists coming up but I know. think that was just him doing what he do God, it's, hey man was that lightning out there yeah man? it's been lightning you, you ain't been here but look <laughs> That's, that's crazy. The, the tweet says the very it. people no that held me back <laughs> is telling y'all I could have been bigger. Probably because. Hold on. What y'all over there talking about? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shit. I'm weak. Yeah. 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 It is one in Tennessee. Yeah, I know I'm from Tennessee. Alright, so what Tallahassee he from? I think he's from the Florida. Okay, cool. He's from the Florida Tallahassee. Hey, little bro, you ain't stupid. You got that shit right. But yeah, the tweet said the very people that held me back is telling y'all I could have been bigger. And then he put the face emoji, so. Hey. He also said no malice in his heart, but he's going to allow his past, he's not going to allow his past to control his future. I respect that. Yeah, so. Hey, man. I respect that. I feel like T-Pain should be bigger than what he is right now. I mean, I feel like he really respected his game, bro. I, yeah, I think he respected, but I think I think he should still be like active. Oh, I feel, okay. I feel like he should still be active. Y'all heard the trade? What happened to Travis Scott and him? Right? Hold on. What? I was gonna say, let's let's get to this nigga. Yeah. Hold on. What, what, hold on. I want to know what the next joint is now. Hold on. What did what he say? Uh, hold on. Jalen cooking. So, no, it's the next topic. Yeah, that's the next. It's on the list. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Let, let him let him cook. Selena Powell and Eliza moved from OnlyFans to rappers now? What you mean? They got rap career now. Wait. They hey, rappers? Wait. Yeah. Wait, 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 what? She a rapper? Yeah, they're rapping now. Wait, like you rap, heard a song? Rapper, she has a song out. She was promoting. I don't know the name of it, what but she has a song out. Oh. Uh, yeah. So her, her and her friend out. Yes. Who is Selena Powell? The Jane that sucked up the whole sons. Bro, is it? I heard that was her friend. I keep my son, keep my sons out of this. Keep my sons out of this. Y'all use Trey Songs name. Keep my sons out of it. Yeah, she's a rapper. 
Don't talk about my boys, man. You keep them out of it. Like, okay. They ain't do nothing wrong. Aiden was definitely in there. Yeah, they ain't do nothing Aiden wrong. This was like two, three years ago. That's why bro was coming in there smiling. He missed that whole season. Think about it. It makes sense. <laughs> but I don't, no, that go that way. I don't like that they rapping, bro. I don't like that. I, mean, I don't like that, bro. Okay. That's some, that's some shit you, they just going for clout. That's just yeah, some clout. Where, where, where did the cum go? Why not? He said, just... Nigga said all seven of them? He's like, all seven of them. Oh, seven. His stomach didn't have an allergic reaction? He's like, nah. Hey. I think she lying about that. She just, she she had something had to happen after that. Like some some type of reaction had to happen. Yeah. I feel like that. You just doing too much. Are you you that nasty? I don't think I want to fuck with you. No, it ain't no well, limit. All them niggas ain't got no limit. It ain't yeah, nasty. you feel me? Like all it ain't even no limit. Like what she think is she had to be cabin she like nasty, she probably think just regular. Oh, that's all. You probably like, shit, I'm trying to get nasty tonight. She's like, shit, I'm trying, you know. She had to be in every time. You trying to be just greasy with her, just nut all in her face. Oh, that's it? <laughs> I thought she was going to do Like, that. her mouth ain't get tired? Like, on, like. I Dang. thought she was going to pump it down my throat or something. She's going to say some wild shit like that. Leave it in my throat and let it I had shawties come up off me, like, oh, I. Right. That's <laughs> enough. <laughs> she talking about six more. She talking about six more guys. <laughs> I done had Shawty tell me, all right, I'm good. Like, all right, it's, it's I like, we chilling now. Kelly she talking about some all oh, seven of them. Yeah, she talking about. Hey, I know them niggas was averaging 35 minutes up in that jump. <laughs> Facts. Two minutes in that Shooting jump. from the three. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel like oh, the nigga. level was in the Ricky middle. Ricky Rubio was not in there. <laughs> I would have I wanted to go first. How you know Ricky, Ricky and Ricky Rubio was not in there. First or the most technical. Nah, I feel like the third or fourth jump. Bro, the nigga that the nigga that go last the nastiest. You the nastiest nigga in there. Whatever that nigga is. Oh, the nigga. You got to make the rookie go last. I can't see him in the room with a bunch of niggas in the top. Probably made the rookie do that shit. Make the make the rookie go last. Nah. Nigga, you gonna do this, nigga? Whoa, 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 whoa! Why we getting off topic? We getting off topic. Next topic. Next topic. Yeah, they we talking about too much. Shit, y'all heard. Y'all uh, mentioned the Suns too many times. Y'all heard Cardi B was going at it. Well, who? Well, uh, Melina oh, Trump and them. John, I showed you. Yeah. Wait. Melina Trump. I, I fuck with. Uh, Cardi I, B. I I ain't hear nothing about that, so y'all gotta put me on. Yeah, yeah, you did. Y'all gotta Melina put me Trump on. said something to Cardi B. He gonna get pull it up in more detail. Some and then it, Cardi B was like, "Bro, is there something about what? Didn't you used to sell what?" Mm. To, to Melina Trump, and then because she used to have like new pictures and some shit back in the day, it'd be like a. I think she uh, was like Playboy. Or something. Yeah, some shit like that. She's like, didn't you used to say it a lot? You talking about me? Because she, oh, yeah. she said something like she don't need to be no, a it, woman. She so. didn't. She didn't. It wasn't Melina Trump. She said it to. Oh. She said it to Deanna Lorraine. Okay. Go, give us more details yeah. about that. Sir. You getting, said, you getting shit confused. I thought the details coming. The annual rain said America needs far more women like Melina Trump and far less like Cardi B. Whoa. And Cardi B responded, didn't she used to sell that WAP? What? And then uh, after that, more... she posted a picture with the caption of, this pic giving me, yeah, you fucking with some wet ass pussy vibes. I'm yeah. just saying. You know she petty. Bro. I don't even know why you even want to get into a war with Cardi B. What, what does that even mean? Okay. We need more women like Melina Trump and less women like Cardi B. Like, what does that even mean? Like, bro, I don't... They take what they see bro, on the internet that's so... and shit and face value of what a person really is. And granted, after so long, you probably do... Bro, that's so vague, bro. You know what I mean? Like, they, a, a person is much deeper than... You know, that's only a slither of her life, bro. Yeah, you feel me? Like, bro. So how can you say that? You you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm like, bro, you don't even. She a mother. She an entrepreneur. Yeah. Bro. See, bro, you bro, you saying exactly what I'm thinking? Like, come on now, bro. Like, she got way more, way more ventures than just. She don't even strip no more. Like, I don't even growth. You get what I'm saying? I'm like, come on now. How you gonna say that? And then, Melina Trump. Out, out of every Melina Trump, that's, come on, that's your go-to. She could have named anybody. That's your ideal woman, Melina Trump. Even, actually, she did I feel name like Melina. Melina she did name Trump. anybody, right? She's not even somebody you got. You name the worst, really like no. I just that's, feel like she. Trash. You, you name you name the one sitting beside Donald Trump, Ooh, like I'm thinking about her, like hey. Her husband like, was grabbing the shit. I was not expecting the last name. That's all I'm saying. Bro, that's Michelle Obama. That's terrible, bro. Hey, but on to some lighter stuff. Discussion question. Dead or alive, who would you want to smoke with? Dead or alive? 
I ain't trying to smoke with none of the dead Seth niggas. Rogan. Okay, we got Seth from Double A. We, we can't repeat that. No. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go with my nigga Cat Williams. <laughs> that nigga probably be hilarious. Man, who would I want to smoke with Dead or Alive? Dead or Alive. I'm gonna pick Alive Ed Dead. All right. Cat Williams Alive. Dead. My nigga Bernie Mac. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Okay. So yeah, alive. Come on. Snoop. All right. Who else was gonna Snoop? <laughs> alive. Dead. When it's gone, I'll probably smoke with it. Oh, shit. Bob Marley. Hey, Bob Marley. Man. I switched mine. Bob Marley. <laughs> Damn, man, that's no, no repeats. That's a tough joint. That's that's a tough one. I. That's a tough one. It's a lot of niggas I though. I feel like Bob Marley as a person, like the shit he was spewing out in the world, and you know what I mean, the message he was kicking out in the world. I just, you know, what I mean, I fuck with him. All right, him, so. all right. Yeah, I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna say, 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 I'm gonna <laughs> for life, <laughs> Ice Cube, yeah, Ice Cube and uh for dead, dead, dead. I already know who he gonna say, but dead. <laughs> That's easy. Tupac. Nah. That man. Hey, know. that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Now go ahead, say yours. I'm gonna come All back right. to my dead. So now. I'm gonna go ahead with the the first one. Everybody already know. Dead, dip, of course. Mm. Alive. I ain't gonna lie, I'm thinking my guess. That nigga probably hilarious to smoke with. My guess would be funny as shit. You feel me? That nigga had you mm. weak. You be crying, bro. Matter of fact, alive? DC Young Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga hilarious, too. I'm going I'll Carlos Miller. Go with Carlos Miller. Fuck it. Any three of them niggas. No cap. The whole, them niggas. the whole show. You can keep this one with either one of them niggas. She going to do that. Him with them, weak of all three. Him with them braids alone is just funny as shit. That nigga just with them Who did? Who you picking dead? Uh, probably Bob Marley. Bob. Bob Marley. B3, you say? Live. I say Snoop. Snoop. Dead. That's a tough one. I can't think yeah. of a dead one. I can't even think of a dead one. dead? Yeah. It's a lot of great dead people. It is. Not that hard. Pop Snoop. Word. Kobe. Oh, it can be, it can be niggas yeah, like it can be anybody. Yeah, I, I, I thought we were just naming niggas that was known smoking. Nah, anybody that passed away. Oh, I feel like I everybody did. smoked weed yeah. once in their life. Shit, shit. Who, who? Um, Kobe probably said that face one a couple times. Boy, if, I wanna, if I want, if I want, he was in LA all his life. Dropping sixty and shit on niggas. You know he faced. If I want to smoke, nigga said he faced one out of the gang. Have a good conversation, and they allowed. I'm gonna take uh, Stephen A. and Matt Barnes. I'm weak. I want to have like a good conversation. Lay off the oh, weed. Uh, oh, the smoke. Smoke. Mm-hmm. Damn, man. Um, yeah, that's a tough one. I still can't think of a deal. Think of somebody, man. Like, give me something. I can't give you nothing, man. I'm going to slide with no. my nigga Bankroll first, bro. I'm going to say it over Kobe. That's a tough Bankroll. one right there. I got that bill for that one. My nigga Bankroll. R.I.P. my nigga Bankroll, man. R.I.P. Bankroll. Keep a Bankroll for my nigga Bankroll. All right, man. Then, then shit. I'm going to have to go ahead and blow one with Fredo then. Fredo. 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 Mm. Fredo Santana. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stick with Fredo. Right. You know what I'm saying that's a that's a good one. That's a good mm. one. That's, but but back to the whole c- celebrity. De- nah, man, celebrity deaths. If you know y'all smoke, you know y'all smoke it too. Yeah. Oh, you wow. Like this might sound crazy, but one thing that's better than living is leaving a legacy. So, is the after that is is really nothing else. Like after you die, is really nothing else. That's not you, crazy to say though. Some people. You, yeah. Some you people perfect, strive man. to do that. You feel me? Like, He's that's... Uh, yeah, some people want to die a legend. You feel me? Like, and it's nothing wrong with that. It's like, that's just... They said Kobe wanted to die a legend. Like, he died, he wanted to die early. But you, Juice, when Juice World passed away, like, R.P. Yeah. Juice World. R.P. Juice World. They but said you, Kobe wanted to die early. Man, he said not he wanted to die early, but he knew he was going to die early. Like, he was... He had, he, when he said was basically, like, he wanted to be a legendary, so he knew... Like at some point he was gonna die before he w- it was his time. Just because he was legendary. No, 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 no. He already, he already, he just was saying it. Like he just was speaking it into, you know, what I'm saying existence, and it happened. Shaq said he used to say it all the time. It's like Juice World. If you listen to Juice World music, Juice World used to say all the time he was gonna die at 21. You know what I mean? Because he was gonna die at 21, or we gonna die early, or I'm gonna die. Yeah, he's hey. that's all in his music, bro. So when he passed away. That shit was sad because I fuck with Juice World. Yeah, but that's, to me, it was like, if you listen to his music, bro, 
I ain't gonna say it's not surprising, yeah. but it's crazy that it really came to fruition. Dirt. You used to say that shit all the time. Yeah, nah, nah. That's 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 definitely crazy, bro. But I definitely think uh, when you die and you get that type of attention, you did what you uh, set out to do. I never thought about you it. Did like your that, mission? Yeah. yeah, I never really thought about it. Like that, that. Man. I ain't gonna lie. How you get to it? Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure if we watch it back. It all ties together. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow, Cause like, we flowed into I'm it. At the like, we flowed in. I mean, but we can. Now we just talking about that's where it came from. Hey, oh man. yeah. Oh see, yeah. see, man, look, don't, don't, don't you know what we talking about? Right? We talking about that, rappers bro. dead or alive, you and then like, they don't really affect them. Anymore. You feel me? Like, well, look, man, it all this is this is all it's all continuity. You feel me? It all flowing. All so with this emotion. This who? She, what she do now? She hypnotized her husband. Hey, hold on. Let's let's run it back. Uh, we we don't fuck with the Selena Powell shit, right? No. Like not the rapping shit, right? Rappers? Yeah. yeah. If they dropping bars, if they dropping bars, I'm not the, I'm not a person that's gonna shit on anybody. You know what I mean? Get your bag however you want to do it, but to me, it's just, I feel like it's gonna be trash. I'm probably gonna listen just. To, I mean, they gonna give, they gonna, you know, people. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna check it out. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm gonna check it out. Long, now that you told me, I don't shake your head you at me. You ain't checking it out because you like it. You know. Uh, you feel me? I got it, but I gotta see. Yeah, I gotta see. And then if that shit gonna be pretty, that shit end up being hot, then what? Yeah, I, that's why I ain't even want to go that deep. Cause if it's oh, hot, then I gotta listen. To, bro, just think about how that sound. Hey, somebody be like, the girls. Bro, no, but she, the what if they put on the radio? If she was bold enough, she if she be on the radio, females gonna tell you. When, the, when it's a female yeah. rapper that's hot, the females gonna tell you. Just watch your social feed and shit. Like when it's like, they not talking about Selena. I don't know. Bitches be hating though, bro. Bitches be hating. I don't really. She look at Megan Thee Stallion. Mulatto. Bitches love. Women but love Megan Thee Stallion. Mulatto. If he said Cardi B, nasty name. about Selena Powell. Oh, what's happening? Nigga, like Apple. I'm weak. Bitches gonna love Selena Powell. Huh. I mean, yeah, cause they, cause she, cause she shit on Trey Songz and shit. That's so they, what I'm they, saying. You right though. But Trey Songz been. Even that, they got history. Trey Songz allegedly been wilding though. Allegedly, he pulled out the receipts though. Now you seen the video, bro? But but that that's bro. Did you read those texts, bro? Did you read those texts? Those texts said nothing. If you read those texts, read those texts again, bro. Them Jones didn't say didn't didn't confirm or deny anything. Think about it. You're right. If you think about it, he just put out. He just put out shit. He just dropped it. Because if you did meet up with the Jones, possibly did. You you wildin' for me up with the jump. But if that's the case, she was still texting bro like trying to meet up and shit. No, nah, bro, I mean I mean it, <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, now let's if let's you, talk. Let's you, let's her, look, look, look. We're not gonna really a, uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're not gonna get too deep into it. But Amen. if you, I, if you a rapper or if you're an artist, you urinating on each other. No, 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 not that. <laughs> oh, she sl- she that sliding into your DM. Oh, I, then I don't know the real. Then I mean, but you don't know her. Not yet. Not yet. You don't know her yet. She ain't my type. Oh, she ain't your type. She ain't your type. I I, I understand she that. She's sliding your DMs. Nasty Nate. I need that cocoa butt. You gonna think it's spam? She do like a spam page. Nah, what if you're an artist though? If you're an artist on that level, I wouldn't think it's spam. Oh, if I'm an artist? Yeah. Like if you if you or if you someone popular enough to have grabbed her attention in general. You gotta be an artist. It's just in my DM. What are you asking? Like, would you fuck with you? Me? I, I. But you don't know, like, what you got a question for you. Are you going for the link? Like, are you trying to link? With that, Jay? You don't know her intentions before. Like, you don't know that she's this person before. You know what I mean? So she's just on some Like, she's just hitting me up, like, yo, let's link. I mean, it's like, we'll be talking and then it's yeah, like, yeah, you know, however it gets to it. Don't flow in. Yeah, yeah however yeah, it gets to it, it gets to it. But that's a. Thank that's you, B3. <laughs> <line now. laughs> Thank you, B3. I got a question. I'm gonna deny. I feel like if you're an artist and you at that level, and you you Trey Song status, you shouldn't be doing that. Hey, you gotta pick and choose. You gotta choose wisely. Hey, that's a question for y'all too. I agree with that. She hit y'all up with that bag to get a, a feature. Y'all doing it? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Not even that. For sure. If I'm a celebrity for real, I'm gonna, probably not really gonna be messing with. Y'all right gonna taint y'all name with her name? It's not even me that's, that's a, bro, that, that's, that's, a, that's, a that's a tough uh, pill to swallow right there, man. You you really got to be careful. I'm not sure. Are you expecting her enough to do a song with her? No, but I need that bag. 
And her audience gonna hit, and I look at it like this, her audience gonna hit my music. So that's just double the exposure. So hey, yeah. Take advantage of that. Hmm. Even if you on like little baby level. I'm not gonna I need, look, all, ba all bags to me are good bags. If it's a solidified bag, I'm getting it. So no, there's no bag you, you're denying? Not a single one. So even if 6 9 hits you up? I need a bag. I'm, I said you need a bag. I need a bag. I need a bag. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna be in the studio with the nigga. I send my verse over, you send that bread over. Shit. I, ain't, I don't think I'm gonna take that bag. And it depends on what the song on. I don't think I'm gonna take that back, but me, I'm picking on what songs I get on. Anyway. It depends on what level artist. You feel I'm, me? If I'm on little baby level, I ain't doing it. Yeah, facts. So I'm definitely not about, doing. You talking about like a nigga that's kind of like I'm buzzing on the up. surface? Fuck yeah, six nine. Not even say it like that. Yeah, he's stitching all that, but come on, bro. A million niggas gonna listen to that shit. That's facts. He, bro, a mil out of a million niggas, even if forty thousand. That's people, marketing. You be dead ass, do that joke, and then be like, fuck that nigga right after this. <laughs> come on. That's bro. fact. <laughs> and them niggas. That would, that would literally be yeah, my reason. Dead ass be like, I only use that junk. Like, nigga, what, duh. Nigga, what he gonna do? I'm like, nigga, I use your He gonna pull up on you and, and do it. Tell me what. I'm <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna he gonna troll you. I'm nah. telling you, nigga. He probably just trolls you and just like, make videos and shit about you. But look, that's just even more. He ain't got enough, like. More popularity, my nigga. Yeah, I disappoint me. On to the next topic. No. <laughs> I do want to clear something up. They telling you what you want to do. Me, yeah. me personally, I was told to always always stay low always avoid the police at all costs you feel me not not even to draw attention to yourself you feel me and when they do pull you over listen you, you feel me you feel me you do what you gotta you do what you gotta do you do what you you, you chill you feel me you make it home so i don't encourage nobody walking away nobody getting rough nobody snatching their arm i don't encourage none of that behavior you feel me i i advise everybody yo relax the, the best thing you can do is relax Keep, yeah you feel me like like don't get me wrong walking away snatching your arm and all that doesn't warrant a police officer to shoot you especially not grab you by the shirt and shoot you as you get into your car that's that doesn't that's not supposed to happen at all but still you always gotta keep your cool and not let them get you out of character because i mean as soon as you give them a reason that's that's what they're gonna bite you feel me that's what they're gonna bite on they waiting for they waiting for you to get loud they waiting for you to get out you feel me do anything to where they feel threatened and and and, and that's the thing a lot of times they don't be threatened they just want to flex their power and they just they got the upper hand and they but they know if you I don't want to say step out of line, but they know if you give them a reason, they can, you know, use their power to the fullest end of the law and do some, and that's how shit like that end up happening. So, you know, just, uh, just, but you just always got to be aware of like, your actions always got to be aware of what you're doing and, bro, don't let no, don't, don't lose your life from your fucking like, police officer, bro. That's, that shit insane, like, that shit super foul. That shit super foul. That shit super foul. Talk about that topic. How do y'all feel about the white man with a knife in the middle of the street? Uh, I was trying to run him over, shit. Uh, no, white man was blazing a knife at 12. Yeah, in the street. He's not pulling him over. Around the problem with the knife. Yeah, not, like, like we said, like we said earlier, bro. Um, bro, you, we already know, bro, they don't get treated the same. You feel me? Like, that's. I don't condone that we shoot nobody ever. Black, white, whatever. But I just feel like. You gonna kill man, bro. Yeah. If you gonna kill a black person for having a knife, kill a white man for having a knife. Right. You know what I mean? If you just tasing everybody that got weapons and shit, okay. But if you just tase the black people that's fucked up, then you don't tase the white people. If you don't tase us, tase them. If you don't shoot us, shoot them. They doing the same shit. They're doing it worse. The they excuse for them every time is they have a problem. Oh, we can't have problems. We in the most fucked up. <laughs> Conditions. I mean, you don't think we got PTSD? You don't think like we got PTSD? That's right. I've been doing this shit. Like, I mean, come from y'all, bro. Generation. You don't think this is, come on, bro. These people, like, come on, man. No, no, listen, though. They know. They already know, like, we have these problems, and they know that's why when put in a hostile situation, we act this way. And they they know how to provoke us, you feel me? They know how to get, they know how to get under our skin, bro. They've been, they've been doing it forever, you feel me? It ain't, this ain't new to them. This ain't new to them. This this the same old game they've been running. You feel me? 
This ain't new to them. This new to us. We just older to now. Yeah, it ain't new to us. I'm saying, as you get older, you start to see it a yeah, lot more, just, a lot more prevalent. You feel me? Yeah, when fact, you're young, fact, fact. When you're young, I feel like you're a lot more sheltered, and yeah, you just, you just living through it. You feel me? You just going through it. Man, when you get older, right? I mean, you start I'm seeing fact. it back to back. This has been happening when social our parents media. were our age. But they had social, social media to address right. it, so there's a lot of shit that probably happened that, that you know. So now, yeah, we, didn't make now we get to see it. The people that was going through it, they still get to see it still going on. Exactly. Yeah, bro. Shit, honest, everybody around the world see it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's social media, but global news just gets things. We treat it like shit everywhere around the world. No matter where we go. No matter where we go. We yeah. don't discriminate. No matter where you go. Yeah. China, Australia, we don't matter where you go, bro. Yeah. Even back in Africa. Right. They were wilding it but, during the pandemic. But, they tried to blame black people in China for, like, having it. We like, this shit crazy, like. They, they didn't want the black people to go in McDonald's. Like, they trying to prevent them. And McDonald's had to, like, set the whole corporation down. Shout out to McDonald's. Yo, y'all dirty, too. You know? But, hey. Um, what's y'all thoughts on the uh, segue into sports? What's y'all thoughts on the uh, social media bubble? I mean, social movement bubble. Like, as far as um, what they doing and... They should they should have played like I yeah they like, have played. I think they copped out but but also I think that was I think that was a call from the higher up yeah, you feel yeah. me cause me personally I ain't seen no press on like nobody saying like yeah I'm, I'm gonna play or yeah I'm coming back I ain't seen no press I just seen Bleacher Report drop at 15 minutes and I was like God damn I'm so like that quick I was like it only been a day only oh, been a day oh it did uh nah man I think they should have held out. Uh, I think they should have just gone ahead and shut the season down. I don't, I'm not mad that they ever started playing. I'm not mad. You know what I mean? Because I fucked with, like... I mean, the first shutdown was because of COVID. You canceled it now because of what happened to Jacob Black. Don't bring it back. That's how that shit did. Right. You know what I mean? Because you... We all know that that was like... It's no explaining that situation. There's no justifying that. You just physically saw a police officer. There's three police officers. Y'all could have tackled him, tripped him. I did respond that joint. I thought she got I don't know what's going on. He passed you good. I don't read. He passed you good. Alright, so. Alright, man, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. You see? Thank you, Double A. Thank you for getting that order. Don't even matter. Just swing it in. Six of us in here. Yeah, I like the fact that they uh, refused to take the court. Right. Oh, yeah, back to that. The, uh, now, the first, see, the first shutdown was because of the whole pandemic. You feel me? And then during the pandemic, we had um, the George Floyd killing. And that that led to the whole, uh, when we restart, it's going to be a social justice movement. You feel me? Like, And that's what led to this. But the second killing, that led to the second shutdown. And now that y'all restarting it again, I just don't. I don't see why I revamp it. Yeah, like you said, like after after the second killing, it's, yeah, you feel me? After the second one, it's just it's like why? Why? It was a social justice move, and why did shut down? Oh, cause cause I mean they had enough. Cause this one, yeah, this one is just like amongst all the, we already like, bro, it's still not even, it's not even far from the George Bush. Bro, it doesn't matter what you do, we trying to make it like, damn, bro. Yeah, that's insane. You don't see what y'all damn there for the rest of life and remember why he was never shut down. So how y'all feel about the corporate world then? Shut down. I mean, I don't even feel like if the NBA should shut down, he'd be like everything. I mean, we'll put it like this. Oh, yeah, like the black dollar shouldn't be spent. Of course. Yeah, I feel like that
I mean, it, it, it starts. Even the it starts that's coming out and saying the, the NBA is a corporation. You feel me? It starts with one business, and then hopefully a business like something so big as the NBA would trickle down to some other corporations because it'll it'll affect the sponsors. Yeah, it'll be a domino effect. You feel me? And then from the sponsors that will affect, and then you feel me? That's hard to do. I will say like. I'm not going to say it, it is hard. That's damn near impossible. Damn near impossible. You want to really make a change some shit, all you got to do don't play. It might be. Yeah. That's that's what I think. I think that's I think that's way more simple. Like, that's more simpler than um, than not spending, like, the black dollar. You feel me? Look, Harry was talking about signing on the Don't get me wrong. They they got the bread, but they ain't got the resources. Yeah, yeah. They got the resources, but I don't know if they're going to be some fruition on them. Yeah. They don't have, they're not going to have another league that compete with the NBA. Because once all the black players leave the NBA, that's just a They don't have the NBA. I mean, you got nice white players. If all the black people leave. That's that's the biggest if resource. The that's the biggest leave. basketball resource out there. What you do? If all the black people leave the NBA, the NBA is down fucking drain. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's no. That's. That's a dub. That's that's all good. Friends. That's that's all good and well, but we know that's like that's not gonna happen. Speculation, bro. That's not gonna happen. We speaking hypothetically. Like that's, bro. That's it's that's. You don't think it can happen though? Mm. I feel like it's possible. It's, it's a far it probably won't happen. But it, it'll be so I hope it is. I, I think I think we got a better chance. I got to think, yeah, little to none. I, I I think I think we got a better chance of the NBA becoming like more black from not just the players but into the office, into like the front office and into the corporations, the head coach positions. Yeah, you feel me, black commissioner. You feel me, like stuff like that. I feel like that's when, I feel like that's when we gonna really like see a change in the NBA. I'm sure we're doing that. In the next 20 years, it's gonna be an all-black league. I guarantee it. Next 20 years? Yeah. Think about it. Think about it, bro. Think about it. When we was little, look. Think about it. When we was little, 20 years ago. 20 years ago, we was like, what kids used to say? I'm gonna be a black president. Kids ain't say that 20 before us, though. Like our parents and shit, they won't say that shit. But we were saying that shit growing up. How many black persons do you think we're going to have in the next 20 years? My parents old. Barack Obama. You don't think those niggas wish they had a black president? Who's a black African person? But they ain't say they wanted to be the president. But but how many many you think we're going to have in the next 20 years? How many black black presidents you think we're going to have in the next 20 years? Let's let's, let's be serious. Government is way different. He might be. Because government, you know what I'm saying, they be playing games. Unless Kamala Harris, but I don't see that shit. She not even fuzz. So, so, so I can't, I can't, I can't say, bro, I don't, but hey, you don't leave that alone too. Yeah, I'm going to details. I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't think politics is too, too far from sports. You feel me? Like, those pretty much go hand in hand. Sports now? Yeah. They always went hand in hand. I don't know. Yeah. I'm James and Lee. They always went, huh? Wow. Politics and sports always went hand in hand. So, how did MJ get around that? I'm not gonna say MJ now for black people, but he wasn't voicing it back then. So how did he get around? Like he's still considered a good, like people still love him though. Is what I'm saying, if it was anybody nowadays doing that, yeah, people him. still love him because he he was it's a. What he did. It's what he did. What did the right occasion happen? You feel me? MJ got a lot more to him than like him not speaking. Yeah. You feel me? Did anybody just supposed to talk about the right occasion? That shit happened in 2000. Yeah, yeah, matter of fact. It's a fact that everybody talking about. I, I, I think, I think, I think, like, Ali chose not to, like, something like that, like, um, I'm gonna say Ali chose not to fight, or some shit, or he spoke on it. Yeah, Ali did. Ali was, yeah. My nigga did a lot for us. Yeah. My nigga went overseas, you know what I'm saying? My nigga did a lot for us. Hey, y'all heard uh, LaMelo Ball get signed to Puma? Shout out to that. Puma endorsement. Y'all like that? Boo. Yes. I think it should win somewhere else. Boo. Nah, I, don't I, don't like, know. I feel like Puma kind of coming up. Puma, yeah. Puma yeah. got some. Puma got some nice. Got some nice. Yeah, Puma, 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 Puma does this every like 
six they to eight years. Boys. They, they got always your, do they this, got, and then they do this. They got your boy. They do this, and then they do this. But they ain't oh, meeting, then, uh, yeah. Puma, we ain't really doing it. They got a train. We don't really remember the... I'm gonna let you know right now. Lamelo Ball is not about to change anything about Paul. I don't care how good no, he, he is. In the basketball lane, I heard it was something behind. Him. No. You know? Oh, no. You said uh, what? Uh, what? You said what? Oh, that double H B. He ready to tell us some some dirt. Oh shit! I think I seen it on social media. Some fucking. Oh, um. The, they had a they had a show right the Bar Brothers right yeah. they had a show yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Lonzo was uh, was saying something like um the, uh, some one of, one of their close friends was like yeah it was like they were stealing money from them oh, yeah. from, from the brand and shit yeah. you know what I'm saying but I thought they got rid of him and started brand over yeah they did 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 they they're probably gonna revamp it. Some way, some way, somehow. Le, uh, Levar's gonna, he's gonna revamp it. Like, bro, he's, bro, he can, he can go. Listen, you know what I'm saying? He can, he can go on social media and do anything. Like, Levar, Levar has lost his traction. Okay, sir. Yes, no, yes. That, that's and that's fine. That's uh, so does Dale Care. <laughs> So the, he got two sons brothers. in the NBA. You feel me? Yeah, how, how how they they and and, don't, and don't, get me, don't get me wrong. None of them is like LaVar, but he lost his traction. You feel me? And then your own son split away from the brand. You feel me? That was pretty much like, that was the brand. That's the three Bs. The three Bs is for the ball brothers. Oh, yeah, and then you ain't got your third son in the NBA. So it kind of it kind of like fucked up the brand. You feel me? He came out with a certain brand. I'm going to promote these three Bs for the three ball brothers. They're going to be on the same team. It's not It's not coming to fruition. You feel me? It's I'm not here. happening. I'm here with Melo. They're not going to get long. Yeah, I got the trade. Well, I don't know. But who's going to make it happen? What pick do y'all have? I don't know. Seven. Look, I'm not saying that they can't play on the same team one day. You feel me? I mean, everybody got contracts to sign. You feel me? But but how I'm saying how I'm saying how the contracts going to line up. You feel me? I, I see how the contract up on. I don't see them. I don't see them playing together no time soon. Not in the next five years. Lonzo got like a four-year deal. Oh, yeah. But I don't think it's this year. I don't believe. He got like a four-year deal. Remember I showed you? Yeah. Sure. He was like, "That's Bleacher Report." No, oh, he's like, no, coming he up like, on four or five years. What is it? It was like. He about, to, he about to sign his job. Like oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Lamelo gonna come in for like two, three years on a rookie. Then he gonna yeah, he, he gonna resign to whatever team he gonna resign to. Rookies don't lead their teams, bro. It's, it's that's that's real like rare. Like that's that's rare. So that's some rare shit. Like that a rookie lead his team in the first three years. You don't know nothing about the NBA. How you gonna leave in the first three years? Like I, I was just saying, it's rare for a rookie to leave his team in the first three years. Like you don't know nothing about the NBA, so. I mean, yeah. Like you, you still well, like. If, if, in, that, in that situation, I'd be like, I just control it. I think it would be, I want to leave. Like, yeah, fact. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, and that's another thing. Yeah, it'd be on some team shit. Like that's if we want you here or not. You know? Yeah, so yeah, I don't got them playing for me, but. I don't got Lamelo being like that when he comes. I got him being decent. I don't got him being a problem. I don't got him being a problem. If you can, if you can control the ball against them niggas, he got to he got to be more. He's gonna be a turnover. Yeah, his handles sloppy. You feel me? Like it ain't it ain't Lonzo handles, and even Lonzo kind of sloppy. You feel me? He got better handles. He got better handles. He can pass. He don't pass the ball. He can pass the ball too. So I feel like that's gonna translate off. Just like Lonzo. Lonzo's first thing that translated. Yeah, but that was the first thing that translated to him being Lonzo's pass. I guess it was the first thing that translated to him being Lonzo's pass. So, Bruh, I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, in the end, he got an ugly shot. That's a, he got yeah. an ugly shot, just like Lonzo. Don't touch each other. But they not. You know they gonna. You know that's gonna happen. Lonzo fixed it. Just let him. Just let him develop. 
Alright, well, we're we gonna see about LaMelo, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not saying he's gonna be a bust. I, I, I feel like I he's feel gonna good. be good. Shit, yeah, he I feel like, like he's gonna be. I, he, I feel like he's gonna be. I feel like he's gonna be like all the way. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be better than Lonzo. I'm, I'm yeah. saying, I'm saying he's gonna come out averaging twelve. All star. Mm, rookie year. Yeah. yeah. Like and th- th- that's that's decent. That you feel me? That's that's good. That's yeah, good. Yeah, he's up to like 17, 18, but it's 20, how 20. it looks. That's a fact too. Out of 15, 14, 15. See, that's what I'm saying. I think he's going to give niggas a, 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 a sloppy 12. A sloppy 12. Like, like a 5 for 17 type shit. I don't think so. Oh my God. 17, bro? I don't think so. I'm, I'm I mean, thinking right now. He's going to be a volume shooter. Sure. I'm, I'm thinking like a 6 or 17. He'll probably take 15, 16 shots. I give him like 8 for bro, he, 17. Bro, he already played pro. He already played pro, bro. It's just, I mean, it's just like this. Yeah, exactly, bro. And he played the beat. Luka, Luka different. Luka different. Look, they said Luka's had his hardest score this season. Exactly. I, believe exactly. I believe him. I believe him. It's more physical over there. He's going to be straight, bro. Yeah, he's been playing. He's been playing all the niggas his whole life. Yeah, he's been playing all the niggas his whole life. Yeah, he's been playing all the niggas his whole life. I see everybody against me, so we're going to see. We're going to see. We agree that NBA's restarting, right? Yeah, they mean this fight is going to be restarting. So, it's on my scene. Yeah, let me see. Heat Milwaukee, who y'all got winning? Play them all. So, Heat versus Milwaukee. Heat. I got the Heat. I got the heat sweeping. Yeah. I got the heat. Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. What are sweeping who? What? What y'all was just against them playing? Huh? Y'all was just against them playing? I am against them playing. Hey, look. But they all really don't but care. But they playing them. Yeah, so. we, you you got to be, you gotta be oh, real. Don't you got to be a real. Don't even tune in. Don't even tune in. Don't even tune in. Yeah, for a fact. You got to be a real. I mean, my team not in the joint. My team not in the joint anyway. I don't even know if my team is. My team was in there, but I don't even know. I'm gonna let you know right now. I'm gonna let you know right. If the Suns was in there, I don't give a fuck what none of y'all say. I was watching every game, every game, even the ones we lose. I'm, I'm, I'm watching it. And then look, they put it on. Look, they, they put it, they put it on that motherfucker. I'm gonna check it out. I gotta see that score. Now, I think, I think that he. I'm not watching. I think that he go motherfucking. Uh, I'm a, I think yeah, that I, like I think that he gonna sweep him. <laughs> I don't. I must be. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I, I know it's a hard one, right? Watching, but I, yeah, I think that I can find something I, else to watch. I, I, can, play, I, can, I can find something else to watch, but I'm, I'm gonna check in on that joint for I, sure. I don't get part of the <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not saying we're talking about, but I'm not putting my opinion on the uh, professional basketball. Yeah. Basketball is called basketball. Yeah, man, that was, it was definitely a call from the higher up on that. Uh, they was like, y'all niggas not, y'all niggas not leaving this boat. We got y'all down here. We paid millions of dollars to set this up. Y'all niggas playing. Y'all, yeah, y'all niggas playing. We, bro, they paid, bro. They paid money to set the bubble up. They paid money to set that bubble. We not, we not, we not about to lose money with this bubble and then lose money on next season. Y'all, y'all come back. Everybody. Get back. They still got TNT contract. All right, so now, 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 let's deep dive. Do y'all think this was just like y'all think them doing that was just for show? I don't think so. Like canceling the jump? I don't think so. No, I think I don't think so. I think Milwaukee really. They got it started 24 hours later. I think Milwaukee was really sincere with the shit because the Jacob Blake shit happened. That's for sure. I mean, but if you look at it, you look at it. That's the you look at it, bro. It's two birds, one stone. Let's cancel, satisfied, cancel, satisfied, niggas. You feel me? Restart it back up. Get our money back in. That's two birds, one stone. You think that's purpose? Is that what you say? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this may be propaganda, but. You feel me? I mean, why win anything like that? I mean, it happened in Wisconsin. They didn't. They didn't already did it on the jerseys. And when it comes down to like the top, maybe like three teams, shit gets a little sketchy up there. You feel me? In the front office, get a little shady business. You feel me? That shit that I would do for sure. That shit. You did that for me. You know what I mean? Get that person with that NFL red team. I would say every single year. Yeah. Hey, that don't make nothing fun of life. Last question. <laughs> yeah. But hey, the Sixers fired their head coach. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rumors is they trying to get popped too. 
Who the best coach for the Sixers? Talu. Talu? I ain't. That's all right. I forget that. Somebody got to take Talu. Both of them niggas can vote. I can see Talu more. I feel like Greg Pop don't act like a dad. I, bro, I think St. Tyler would fill in Poppy. Uh, I would want to do it first. But, but Philly got a lot of changes they're going to make over this uh, offseason. I think they're going to send out Al Horford. I think they're going to send out Tobias. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They, they got a lot of a If lot they get Pop, they can get Pop to him. I don't think Pop want to play. I don't think Pop want to play with those. No, no. They kind of, I ain't trying to say they rebuilding. But they ain't got they, they, bro, they, not, talk, they don't got they, they don't got bro. They, this shit is called the process. It's been a process for a long time. You feel time. me? Like they always think, building. That's their thing. That's their thing. They at call it the process until they get a ring. They at always that age build. Too. I'm trying to be more in place to win right now. I'm gonna let you know right now. Philly only contended because they in the East, and the East just they got talent though. He's like, yeah, but I don't Philly think. Philly was in the I, West. I'm not trying to be the East. The East definitely stronger than what it used to be. It's stronger than what it used to be, but how strong the, the it used what? to be? The what? The East. Yeah, it definitely said the East. How strong it used to be, though? The East definitely stronger than the top eight teams in the West and compare their records to the top eight teams in the West. The records are not like, not all by the hand. The losses in the West, they'll be second. They got a better record than me, so they'll be first. And then you got Toronto. I like Toronto. I think Toronto's going to win it all. Toronto's going to win it. Like the, 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 the weeds? Yeah, when you get down to the world. Yeah, I can get it, I can get it like, yeah, 5 through 8, they kind of get like 5 through 16. They kind of get ugly. They get ugly. The West is hard. You feel me? Like... <laughs> Well, I want to attribute that to the West, then we can...